the fuck is that ugly ass thing? Bus stop hoes! <laughs> Come on, Corolla, bounce! Yo, it hasn't even rained here. Yo, I can still get home and close my sunroof. That's sick. It hasn't even rained here. I'm literally, I was literally three minutes down the road. This is crazy. Not a drop. Bam! Hey, you guys remember what this car looked like. Check it out now. It's dirty. I was in Sobble Beach for the weekend. Look at the shine in that. See, you can see the white car, you can almost read the license plate in it. Cross drilled and slotted brakes. I better close this damn sun or it's coming. New door. Ah. Pretty sweet. And fuck this rain. Tinted tails. Yeah, you love it. Nice. Look at the shine. Look at the shine. Chevy, baby. Look at this shit. I guess I just made it in time. Alright, I got some stuff here to keep me entertained. Look at this. This rain started two seconds ago. Damn. Shit's crazy. about five, six minutes later. <laughs> Still going hard as fuck. Door sewer, sewer, fucking sewer, drain, fucking whatever the hell that thing is. Still pumping away. Free car wash. It's all good. I got a greasy cheeseburger. I have the right to remain greasy. That's right. I have a problem. Look at this shit. It's still going. It's been like downpouring it for 10 minutes. It's awesome. I love storms, but uh, there's a problem. My beer is in the trunk of there. Yeah. And I don't have any cigarettes, so I guess I'm going to go to the store and get some smokes. <coughs> and hopefully by that time, I can get my beer out of the trunk. Damn. Well, now it's chilling a bit, but I kind of lost all my ambition to do anything. Alright, yo, homies. Here's what's going on with the fucking, uh, smashy, blowy up car, sort of fucking 200 subber sort of deal. Now, you may be shocked and surprised, but unlike, you know, the majority of society, my IQ is higher than four, okay? Somebody, I don't know who, I don't really fucking care, but some douche went on, made a shitload of fake YouTube accounts, and, uh, and, uh, subscribed to my videos continuously, I was getting fucking 20 subscribers at a time within a, a, a two minute period and it's all the same person because all you know it was the same YouTube account just there's a whole lot of them the names were just slightly changed like come on I'm not fucking stupid man I wasn't born yesterday you guys are idiots I'm not anyway so that pissed me off that kind of turned me off about the whole idea however I promised it was going to happen so yo it's going to happen but you know what now I'm taking my sweet ass time because that shit ain't cool. Whoever did that, that's not cool, man. So, 
Now I'm gonna take my time. You know I'm a busy guy. I got shit to do, right? So uh, no problem though. It'll still happen. But I'm gonna take my time at it. Those 200 subbers, those are 200 fake fucking subbers. Like, I think it was like six, no, uh, 70 or 80 fake subs that I know for a fact there could be more. So, whatever. You know what? No, that's cool. You know what? It'll happen, but I'm taking my time, boys. I, so, that pissed me off. Y'all let me down. Every one of you let me down. So, well, whatever. I'm just gonna sit here and watch Trailer Park Boys right now, and we'll go work on the car in a bit. Bam! Watch that bitch in the States. Alright, well, it kind of sucks out today. We had a wicked downpour. So, really all I feel like doing right now is changing the thermostat. I might do the O2 sensor as well. Basically, we have a problem with this car. So unfortunate. It's so beautiful. Basically, what's going on here is um, car's failing e emissions test, which sucks. Um, it's failing on the NOx, only on the, when it's uh, on the drive part, the idle's good, past everything else, everything else is running really good, really clean. Um, it has an aftermarket catalytic converter on it, um, they're generally garbage on most cars, on these cars they will work, but everything else has to be in tip top fucking shape or it won't pass. Simple things like temperature, the temperature the engine runs at, um, EGR valve, oxygen sensor, your oxygen sensor can still be good, it's just the fact that it's old and doesn't work as it did when it was brand new, that'll be enough to make it fail. This car's only failing by 200 points, shouldn't be hard to get to, to do. So uh, the thermostat in it right now is stuck open, it's been like that the entire time, I just don't really care. You can still drive a car with a stuck open thermostat, it won't hurt it. Um, as long as you know, you're moving, you're going down the road, basically your temperature is not going to go up. When your temperature doesn't go up, um, it tell, your ECM knows that. The computer in the car knows that it, it, it thinks it's running cold when it's not and burns way more fuel than you need to. So, today, well, I've already changed the EGR, so there's still two more things to do. An oxygen sensor, no big deal, 40 bucks. Um, and the thermostat, no big deal, it's nine bucks. Um, doing this stuff, it should pass then. So here's our oxygen sensor, it's a Bosch, and it looks like this. For those of you that have never seen one before, this just plugs into your exhaust manifold, and it basically reads all the, uh, the uh, burnt gases in the exhaust, carbon monoxide, uh, the NOx uh, hydrocarbons, which is on burnt fuels, measures the oxygen, measures the, like, the amount of actual fuel, and that tells your ECM what's going on, and your ECM is going to try to correct it. Or it's going to, or you're not correct it, your ECM. The ECM in the car is set for a fuel ratio of 14.7 to 1. It's impossible to actually uh, to actually achieve 14.7 to 1 perfectly all the time. It won't happen, it can't happen, it, it just doesn't happen. Um, the way an engine runs is lean, rich, lean, rich, lean, rich. When you floor it, it's rich. When you let off, it's lean. And uh, normal driving and idle is lean, rich, lean, rich. It'll just bounce back and forth. Um, it tries to achieve the perfect air fuel ratio, which is 14.7 to 1 in that range. Uh, known as Stoich. So, it's basically impossible to actually achieve that, but good enough. So, let's do the thermostat first. The thermostat in this car is located right here. Every vehicle is different. Some vehicles really suck to change them in. Basically, two 13 mil bolts And this line, and of course we have to pull the this tube out of the way. You actually don't need to take the upper rad hose off, I can show you that. So what do we need for this job? Well, if it's a crummy day, you might need a flashlight. I'm working under an overhang so I stay dry. You're going to want some beer. All the labels are falling off, but uh, I prefer James Ready. 
you need your new thermostat. Looks just like that. You don't need your bill, but that's basically what the total is right there. Not too bad. And a ratchet extension in a 13 mil. Simple for this car. If you're working on a car that has an aluminum housing, which is bolted to the aluminum lower intake manifold, which is usually what it's bolted to, be careful with these bolts. Coolant gets in the threads when they're when they're assembled, or if they've been replaced before, and it corrodes the aluminum to the steel bolts, and it's very easy to snap these bolts. I'll show you a quick little trick, very handy and will almost always work to get these bolts out safely.